Haley Wooden from Business in Vancouver joins us this morning. Good morning, Haley. Good morning, Randine. Let's talk about this uh, first. Chip Wilson, of course, we know him from Lululemon. He and his wife started um, another more casual clothing company, Kit and Ace, a couple of years ago. And now it looks like it's not doing very well. It certainly isn't. So Kit and Ace, they've grown really rapidly over the last two years. They've expanded to five countries internationally and have 700 employees worldwide. And now we're seeing them change tack. They've announced that they're going to be cutting 20% of their employees based at their head office. They have 280 employees there. They've also said that they'll be closing around a quarter of their 61 outlets worldwide. There's also a bit of a change to the executive lineup. Chip Wilson's son, JJ, has played a key role in the company since its founding two years ago. He will no longer serve in an executive capacity. He will, however, be remaining on the board. Interesting. All right. Well, best of luck to them. Uh, and I like this story. Vancouver City Council voted on uh, Wednesday that wa they wanted to become a living wage employer. What does that mean and how many City of Vancouver employers already make the living wage? That's a great question. So first, what this means, a living wage is $20.64 in Metro Vancouver. And how you get at that number is you take into account the real costs of transportation, food, housing, you name it. Now, who this will affect is a little less clear. It won't affect employees who work at the Vancouver Police Department, public libraries, or other civic agencies. Employees who work with contractors whose companies have $250,000 contracts on an annual basis with the city or more, they'll be included, but anyone whose contracts are worth less will not. When you look at it, the new rules would apply to around 120 different contracts with the city, but when you further break that down, only four of those contractors actually pay employees less than the living wage. Interesting. All right, so then they'll, they'll be getting upset. We don't know how much that'll cost then, do we? Estimates are around $1 million extra per year is what taxpayers would have to pay to give more employees a living wage. All right, interesting. Haley, thank you so much. Thanks, Randine. Haley Wooden.